Hello my friends, it is uh, it's time to learn how to open ports on our routers. Uh, every router is going to be a little bit different, so the interface is going to be a little bit different. And uh, please excuse me if I stop talking for a sec, because I am watching counter Strike in overtime, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Alright, so first things first, we're going to open a command prompt. Uh, so on your local computer, uh, you just type C wind hit Windows to bring up the Windows thing here. Boop, boop. And then just type CMD. And then we're going to type ipconfig. That's going to give us all of our network connections. Uh, so you got to figure out which one is your home connection. Typically, your home connection will be a 192.168 address uh, with following digits. Typically, a 1 or a 0 here. And then whatever at the end. Um, so we can see my IP address is 192.168.1.199. And my gateway is 1.1. .1. So. We're going to take our default gateway, which is our router, we're going to put it into our address bar. And we're going to log in. Um, if you don't know your login credentials, it's probably admin admin or admin password. Uh, or maybe you set a password on it, but most people haven't. So <clears throat> go ahead and do that. And now uh, it's going to be somewhere in the like advanced settings, most likely. But we're going to look for something that says port forwarding. It's going to bring up a page something like this. Uh, it might be blank. I set up a lot of rules for my router and stuff, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, these are the ports we need for Neverwinter Nights, which is the example we're using. So we're gonna open Notepad. I'm just gonna paste these in here for future reference. You can look up the ports that you need on the internet. Uh, just type in the game and port forwarding, <clears throat> or whatever you're trying to forward. All right, so I'm gonna delete this rules just so we can remake it real quick. We're going to add a custom service. Make sure you're on forwarding and not triggering if you have both of them on the same page. Right, let me go back. A lot of times they'll have default services in here that are well known, but um, it's not very helpful most of the time. So we're going to add a custom service. All right, we're going to type our name out. So uh, we're going to call it NWN for Neverwinter Nights. We're going to go back to our ports. The starting port is going to be 5120. Any port's going to be 5300. That means we're opening a range of ports from 5120 to 5300. Um, so this is going to be our external ports. Internal, um, usually I just leave it the same. It shouldn't, I mean, it, it's probably just best to leave it the same. You can technically change it, but uh, if you overwrite ports that are being used for other things, then you could fuck stuff up. So we'll leave it default. <clears throat> All right, and our internal IP address, you can usually have, you'll have a list here where you can pick your computer out or whatever. But um, we're going to go back to the command prompt real quick. And we see that our IP was 1.199. So we're going to go ahead and just enter that right here. We're going to hit apply. All right, so now we can see we've added the rule NWN for the port range of 5120 to 5300. And uh, same internal port range. And we have our IP address set here. That means that all incoming connections on these ports will be, well sorry, on these ports I guess, will come through these and go straight to our computer. So you have to set this on the computer that you are going to be hosting from. Um, otherwise the router will send it to the wrong computer and uh, the application won't be running there obviously and it won't be able to find it. So that should, uh, that should do it. I guess if you have additional questions feel free to ask me and um, yeah, if you can't find this, uh, you can Google your router. If you can get into your router, like mine right here says, I know you can't really read it, but it says N300 wireless gigabit router. You can just Google whatever the model number is. Uh, you might be able to find it somewhere in the settings here. But <clears throat> that should give you a decent idea of uh, uh, how to forward. And you can Google port forwarding with your model. So, yep. Hopefully this solves some issues for you guys, and uh, you'll be able to do this for yourselves in the future. Thanks.